People who look at China today tend very often to take a very Manichaean view. Either China is going to rule the world or China is going to collapse. There's a book published saying when China rules the world. There's another book entitled The Coming Collapse of China that was published 11 years ago, and we're still waiting for it. We asked the author, when is it, when is it? And he's finally said, it's this year. <laughs> so we've got two more months before China collapses, according to that view. Uh, neither, it, neither of those is right. China is somewhere uh, in the middle. It's done enormous uh, things, uh, as Bob Geldof uh, just said. I mean, more people have been lifted out of poverty in a shorter time and made materially better off than ever before in human history. I mean, this is, everything about China is enormous because it's one point three billion people and this huge landmass. But that is an absolutely enormous achievement in human terms. It's also come from the complete chaos and implosion uh, which it was in at the end of the 1970s after Mao, after 30 years of mad uh, experiments by Mao ending with the Cultural Revolution. And in the last 34 years, it's gone from that, when it really was on the brink of collapse at that point, to being the world's second biggest economy uh, and a country with which everybody has to take uh, account. So